Moving on now, votes have not been cast for or counted yet for the upcoming midterm elections, but Democrats are nervous about whether they can keep control of the U.S. Senate. Analysts say getting out the black vote is key for Democrats in, to come out on top. And to that end, U.S. President Barack Obama has been courting African American voters on black radio stations, and his party is running ads in black newspapers. But how successful will they be? Well, several Rep Republican-dominated legislatures have enacted what many are calling roadblocks to reduce voter participation in black communities. Orlando Watson is the communications director for black media with the Republican National Committee, and he joins us from Washington, D.C. And Andre Richardson is a political strategist who has been a consultant to several members of Congress, and he's here in our New York studios. Welcome to both of you to Arise America. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I want to start with Thank you, you Andre, if I can, sure. and that is, can you validate the statement that we just made? Is the key to Democrats keeping the control of the Senate in the hands of black voter turnout? Well, I, I hope it is, and I hope it isn't. And what, what I mean by that is, this is all going to come, on, come down to turnout on Election Day. However, it seems in uh, 2014, as it did in the other midterm in 2010, there seems to be a larger and larger gap that's being put between white voters and black voters. Mm. And let me ask you, uh, Orlando, of course, there has been a lot made of the fact that the Republican National Committee has done these outreach to the Af African-American community to try to bring black folk into the conservative uh, agenda and varying reports on how successful. Uh, uh, Orlando, are you still there? It looks like we've lost him. All right, so let me ask you, I'm going to ask you the inverse of the question that I wanted to ask Orlando, and hopefully he can respond in just a minute when we get him back. Um, can you tell me your evaluation of the Republican Party's efforts to try to include the African-American uh, community in their agenda? Well, uh, to the best of my ability, I'll, I'll try to tell you the Republican <laughs> strategy. But I don't want to know their strategy. I want to know their effectiveness or your assessment of their effect effectiveness. Well, what I know is this, and what most Democrats and black voters know is, in 2012, Mitt Romney received 7% of the black vote. So after that, the Republicans um, started to reorganize and are running this all-out campaign to be more accessible, more inclusive of black voters, which... You know, if you, if you look at it, it's also a little schizophrenic because they're also the same party that's disenfranchising hundreds and hundreds of thousands of voters in North Carolina and Georgia and Louisiana. So as, as far as their efforts... And, and you're talking about access to voting in absolutely, those cases, Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And the cumbersome process of bringing several pieces of ID to prove you are who you say you are. But all, all indication points towards that um, I don't see any sort of organizing or real organizing that's taking place. Mm. What do you, can, can you give me... I've been asking our experts, because we've been talking about this midterm election for several days now as we lead up to the actual election day next week. And it seems like there is no particular issue and or politician that is galvanizing the African-American community. Why does there seem to be uh, a bit of reticence or apathy, if you will? I think, you know, unfortunately, what, what tends to happen in not only in this election, but past elections, dating back to before I was even born, there's a, there's a strategy that's implemented that's a quick fix strategy. So we go out and we try to register hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, but there's not a long-term plan to actually bring voter awareness and voter education to communities of color to actually, actually teach them about certain issues, teach them about the different levels of government and the importance of participation in the democratic process. Yeah, it is so important for everyone to participate, no matter what their ethnic background or uh, uh, geopolitical uh, situation is. But in, in this particular midterm, what's at stake for the, the issues, and I really do, I hesitate to paint all black folk with one brush because we are many different uh, people with many different experiences, Absolutely. but let's talk about some of the issues that are at stake right now with this election that will affect the African American community. Well, right now we're really talking about jobs, we're, we're talking about the economy, we're talking about putting in, uh, hopefully, a, a continue to put in a progressive uh, House of Representatives that fights for issues that can that are concerning to black people such as we were just talking about with the uh, the Voting Rights Act uh, that was renewed in 2006 and is you know kind of be, kind of being put to the side right now so there's no telling if we get if we get an obstructionist and distractionary Republican Senate in there there's no telling what's going to happen because we see what's happening in the house in the lower house and the upper house right now 
You know, Andre, I've been asking this question. I'm almost wondering what difference does it make? Because right now we have an obstructionist. Uh, there's enough Republican influence in Congress to really block most of what the president has wanted to do, with the exception of the Affordable Care Act. Right. So not much has been get, getting done for the last six years. So with an all Republican uh, legislature, what would be the difference for these next two years that are clearly going to be his lame duck years? Well, here, here's the problem. I mean, with an all Republican legislature, this is kind of what we've been seeing already. So Democrats. If if they try to bring a bill to the floor that's even non-controversial, it's going to get so marked up by the time that they're able to vote on it, it's not even going to resemble the original bill that was drafted by the rep and their staff. So at, at this point, I think that we, we definitely need the uh, we definitely need the House to turn. Uh, democratic in order to get some things done, or at least to have some sort of balance. Yeah, it might be a long time before that happens, certainly, maybe even the 2016 election. I guess we'll see. All right. Orla <laughs> no, you're not Orlando, you're Andre. Andre, yes. thank you so much. Andre Richardson, we do appreciate it. Thank you. And this is Arise America. All right, we want to go back to Washington and bring back in our guest, Orlando Watson, who is the communication director for Black Media with the Republican National Committee, and he is there. We can see you. Speak to us, Orlando. Make sure we can hear you. Hey, Debbie. How okay. Are you? Now we got you. Apologize for that technical glitch, but uh, we want to take a minute or two to talk to you before we let you go. So, Orlando, let me just ask you this question. You know, that we... There's been a thesis that's been put forward that in order for the Democrats to keep the U.S. Senate uh, in this midterm election is for the black vote to turn out. And as we well know, the Republican uh, Party has had a major outreach to the African-American community, particularly in the last year or so, to try to engage more black people in the conservative agenda. So here's my question. Is it difficult to get black folk to believe Republicans care about them when there is legislation like in uh, Texas that restricts access to voting, which usually uh, inordinately affects the African-American community? Uh, short answer, absolutely not. In fact, black voters aren't one-issue voters. They care about a number of issues, from, from jobs in the economy to education. Now, you, you posed the question earlier, or the thesis, that if Democrats wanted to take back this or control the Senate, uh, they needed the black vote. What they need are policies that work. Uh, Democrats and President Obama, since since 08 and 2012, have run on hope and change. Yet their policies have failed people. Uh, black voters are now dis disappointed, disillusioned, and disapprove of the job that they're doing. Since 2012, uh, black voters' disapproval rating of President Obama has doubled. And so what it's done is created a, uh, an opportunity for us as Republicans to come in and share a positive message of economic growth, jobs now, and quality educational, uh, education for, for children. Orlando, I really don't want to have to do this, and that is to be the other side. But since we let Andre go, so let me just play uh, the other side's advocate to the thesis that you're uh, putting forth. I understand what the, the, what the policies and the talking points of the Republican Party are, but the fact is the economy is recovering. There were more jobs added in the last quarter than have been added, uh, added in the last eight years, that uh, now insurance is uh, accessible to Americans that haven't had it sometimes in their whole life, and many of them are women, children, and African Americans. So the Republican Party has to at least admit that there has been some progress. You've just been uh, begrudged to want to admit it. Isn't that true? Let me give you a shameful statistic, 11.6 percent. That's the unemployment rate for black women today. It's double the national average. Uh, we've got to reverse that trend. And it starts with addressing the economic and educational disparities that exist and have been created and, 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 uh, and it's this cycle. Uh, that r Democrats continue to, to promote. Uh, we, need, we need conservatives and Republicans who believe in educational choice and school choice for our children and, and with solutions to create jobs now. And we see that across the country. But what we were doing at the Republican National Committee, we've hired since nearly two years ago engagement staffers. These are people from the community who live in the community and work in the community to be advocates of our message, and it's paying off. But, Orlando, isn't it hard to get a group of people to believe that you are interested in what they're interested in when the party has championed efforts to restrict voting, which inordinately affects lower income and black folk? 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it that way. Again, that's one issue. In fact, when it comes to voter ID law, there's a recent poll out that shows the majority of black Americans do agree that pe voters should show some sort of ID uh, before they go to vote. Uh, but when we talk about these other issues like school choice, uh, creating jobs now so people have more money to uh, put gas in the car, ta uh, in the car uh, or food on the table, we win because Republicans are out front leading on these issues, and that's why Democrats are now scrambling with last-minute appeals to black voters in the final months of, of, of this election, whereas we've been laying the groundwork for more than a year. All right, Orlando Watson, we're going to leave it right there. We'll come back and have a more robust debate with another guest as soon as we get a chance. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie.